how to stop VMware vSphere virtual machine with Ansible? I'm going to show you a live demo and some simple Ansible code. I'm Luca Berton and welcome to today's episode of Ansible Pilot. Let's talk about the Ansible module VMware underscore guest underscore power state. The full name is community.vmware.vmware underscore guest underscore power state, which means that it's part of a collection or module to interact with VMware community supported. It manages power state of virtual machine in the center, exactly what we need. Parameter. The following parameters are useful in order to stop a VMware vSphere virtual machine using the module VMware underscore guest underscore power state. First of all, we need to establish the connection with a VMware vSphere or vCenter using a plethora of self-explicative parameters hostname, username, password, data center, and validate search. This latest parameter allow us to support also self-signed certificate. Once the connection is successfully established, you could specify the desired power state, in this case shutdown-guest to gracefully ask guest operating system to shut down or powered off to turn off the virtual machine guest. You could also force the power state change using the force parameter, default disable. Demo time. How to stop a VMware vSphere virtual machine with Ansible. I'm going to show you how to stop the virtual machine guest named myVM from the power state power on to the power state powered off using Ansible Playbook. Are you ready to have fun? Let's move it on. Welcome to my editor. I'm going to show you one Ansible Playbook to stop a VMware virtual machine. First of all, let's begin our play with a name stop VM demo that is going to be executed by hosts localhost, so the local Ansible controller. We could disable the, we don't need a root privilege, so let me disable the become method. And also we don't need the system information, so gather facts false as well. We need the collection uh, community.vmware and let's add uh, as a global namespace so we can uh, write shorted code. One pre-task that is to include uh, some variable from a file, in my case vars.yml. I prefer to group all together the Ansible variable also for different Ansible scripts. So I saved in this uh, YAML file that I'm including in this uh, Ansible series, Ansible for VMware series. So the, uh, the task session starts with a guest shutdown operation. So we try to gracefully ask the guest to turn to shut down using the shutdown guest to the operating system. First of all, we need to take care of all the connection uh, duty. So hostname will be the value of my vCenter hostname variable, as well as username that uh, will be valued as a vCenter username. Password, same story, vCenter password, here we go. These are all variables stored in my variable file with uh, a current variable value. For password, I recommend you to use an Ansible vault, by the way. So mm, what uh, we need, okay, so we need to operate on a single virtual machine. So let me specify the VM name and okay, we need also validate uh, certs. This validate the SSL certificates, if they are valid or not, 
and let me refer to the value of this variable as well. Okay, now the fun part, finally, the meaty part. We need to set the state to shutdown dash guest. In this way, we ask the guest to gracefully shut down. And let's set also a timeout state underscore change underscore timeout. A reasonable one is 120 seconds, so which means two minutes. You think is enough? Feel free to customize. Let me save the result of this operation under the shutdown variable and let me set also ignore error to true. In this way, I'm able to process this shutdown variable on the following step, in this case, power off, but also verify the, that will verify that the machine is already turned off or just in case execute the operation if the shutdown guest wasn't successful. So in this case, okay, sure, I need to connect, so let me copy and paste, and in this case, the state must be powered off. Okay, and uh, I'm going to execute uh, this operation only when the shutdown guest operation is unsuccessful. And lucky us, we have uh, a boolean that is designed exactly for this task. The boolean is called failed and is present is value to true when something is not performed as expected. So perfect. With a few lines of code, we are able to connect to our VMware infrastructure and start the shutdown guest process. If this process is successful, good for us. If not, after the Time, decided timeout, uh, we are moving on to the power off operation. And that's it. Cool, no? Let's see everything in action. Wait a second. My variable.yml is the simple file that we used also in previous lesson with only the credential and uh, virtual machine name. Welcome to my terminal. I'm going to connect to my Ansible controller using SSH DevOps as username at demoexample.com. Inside this uh, home directory, I have a VMware directory with all files needed to execute my Ansible for VMware automation. So let me run the Ansible playbook vm underscore stop. Play, Ansible playbook. This playbook is going to perform a first task to include variable done with OK. Then uh, it's going to start to ask the guest uh, peacefully to shut down. And uh, this is going to take a while. We set uh, a timeout of uh, two minutes uh, for this operation. Please adjust uh, considering your infrastructure, how busy the machine are and uh, how powerful are your machine. So we got an error. As you can see, this is fatal and means that the uh, operation wasn't successful. So we can read about that is a failed. No, is not changed. Okay, so the machine is still running. Now let's us execute the power off operation and we got a change status, which means the power off was successful. So let me quickly recap. We tried to do a shutdown guest operation that was unsuccessful. Then we move to the power off operation. And what happened if we execute again the same Ansible playbook? Well, it's trying to execute the guest shutdown. As you can see, in the error message, we have also the reason why the guest shutdown was unsuccessful. VMware tools should be installed for guest shutdown or reboot, which means this operation doesn't have VMware tools installed. It's something that we could take care of. Now, the power off operation is going to return one OK status, which means the virtual machine is already turn off exactly what we wanted. Just one more second, you know, 
The VMware infrastructure depends how busy it is. And now, yay, we have OK status, exactly. Can you see the potential of this type of script? You could automate your infrastructure management. Now you know how to stop a VMware vSphere virtual machine with Ansible. Thank you for watching and uh, I hope this lesson was useful for you and save time in your everyday task. Yay! See us on the next lesson! This video is part of our Ansible automation program. Sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun.